Recording is on. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Lisa Bug Mind Body Blend. And this is kind of my creation where I take several formats, blend them together, and focus on total body strengthening for the upper lower body and specifically for the core. So we're going to be using some uh, Pilates bar and yoga today. I have light hand weights and I also have the option of a small little hand towel. And what we're going to use this for, um, we'll be doing a lot of work for the hamstrings where we're holding on to a small hand weight behind the knee. And this position might not be uh, accessible for everybody to hold a weight behind your knee. So in that case, you're going to take a little hand towel, tuck it behind, and hold it. Now, it's not going to weigh as much as your hand weight, and I have three pounders today. But what it's going to give you is that connection with your hamstring, because if you're holding on to something, you've got to keep that muscle engaged. So if the weight isn't working for you, I want you to have something like this available for class today. All right, so let's start on our mat with everything clear, your chair and your hand weights accessible, and your small hand towel. And we'll come into our wide Wuchi position, or also known as wide second. Toes turned out, spine nice and tall. Take a big inhale, stretch up and exhale down. Now just start to bend our knees from side to side to the right and left. So I'm going to move into a rhythm. It's a quick, quick, slow rhythm. So we go quick, quick, and hold. Quick, quick, and hold. And side, side, hesitate. Good. Just going at this pace, this takes, it gives us a little time to hold on one side to get a stretch here. Now with your arms, you're just going to wave them side, side, and hold. Side, side, and hold. Good. Start to add a little bit of a twist with the body. Now on the hold, I want you to press the opposite hand and reach it across into a big twist. Side, side, reach across. And you're going to look that direction towards your hand and press it away from you. One more each side. Twist, twist, and reach across. Now that reach across is going to become an overhead stretch right here. So we go twist, twist, stretch. Rotate, rotate, reach. Good, three more. Two more. And last one, twist, twist and stretch. Now just with the legs, same rhythm. Quick, quick, and slow. Quick, quick, and slow. Now on the hold, I want you to pick up your toe and hold a stretch. Quick, quick, hold a stretch. Good, side to side, lengthen. Nice job. Now on that hold, reach down towards the opposite foot. We go quick, quick, reach down. I'm feeling a nice stretch through my inner thigh as we hold that. You can go as low as you like. Quick, quick, reach. Nice, let's do one more each direction side to side, and reach. Last time. And then just come to center, take a nice big breath. Inhale, reach up, and exhale. All right, I want you to take your small hand weight, and we can use the chair for balance here. 
I'm standing on my right foot and I'm going to take that hand weight and tuck it behind the knee. Now again, if that's not feeling accessible, grab a small hand towel. We're gonna draw a square forward, out, back, in. Forward, out, back, in. So you've got to squeeze the hamstring to keep the weight in place or the hand towel. Four points within your own range of motion. Good, two more. Forward, side, back, in. One more, forward, side, back. Now we reverse, go out, forward, and down. Out, come forward, in, and down. If it begins to become circular, that's okay too. But we're gonna hit those four points. Four more, out, in, and down. Starting to feel all the muscles around the hip as well as your hamstring to hold that weight in place. One more, just out and in, eight, seven. Try to keep upright as much as you can, not leaning over. You can let go of the chair, great. Three, two, and one, and rest. All right, let's give that hamstring a little bit of a break. And you can face your chair to stretch that leg out, setting the leg you worked right on top of the chair. Stretch and extend over. Two more breaths. And then come up. Okay, the other side, either your hand weight or that small towel behind the back of the knee. Nice tall spinal position. We're gonna make the square come forward, out, back, down. Forward, out, back, down. So our goal is to move the thigh bone through a nice range of motion without affecting the pelvis. Four more this direction. And I'm squeezing the weight or the hand towel to fire the back of the leg. I have my foot flexed. One more. Let's reverse that square. So we open, come forward, in and down. I'm losing that weight a little bit. Not a good day to put a lot of lotion <laughs> on your legs. But keep that weight nice and secure. Four more. Out, front, and down. Three more. Ooh, I'm feeling that standing leg as well. Two. One more. Then straight out to the side, eight reps. Open, close, seven, six. Good balance work. Four, three, two, and one. Release the weight. Facing your chair, you can set your foot right up on top. Take a hamstring stretch over. Ooh, well deserved. Lengthen that muscle back out. So we'll be doing some of those again later in class down on the ground, a little bit easier work. So if you didn't use the hand weight on the standing work, you might be able to use it on the reclining work. All right, so we can move that chair away a little bit, grab both of your hand weights, come back to your wide plie. Bring the weights right to the chest, and we'll go quick, quick, slow, up, quick, quick, hold. Good. 
So we saw that rhythm in our warm up. We do a three pulses holding on the last one. Three, two, one, up. That last one, we have a nice hold and a hesitation, firing those muscles. Now adding the arms, just on the last one, raise up, three, two, hold, raise up, three, two, hold, and up. Good, four more here, feeling the quads and glutes working. Nice job, exhale, two more. And up, one more, three, two, hold it up, bend the elbows back behind you, and straighten. A little bit of tricep work. If you want to add some work back into your legs, just come down anywhere into that squat and hold it here. Now, single time work. Down, up, down, up. Zip up the abs. If this is feeling uncomfortable on your shoulders, you can make this a bicep curl right in here, changing the exercise to a different muscle group. Eight more. Down, up, seven, six. Maybe sink a little lower into those legs. Four, three, two, and one, bring the weights right back in front of your chest. Rise up out of the legs, releasing the arms. Roll the shoulders. All right. Moving into shoulder raises to the front, palms are facing in. We lift the right arm up and the left up. Good. Now adding the legs down and up with the movement, squat, raise, squat, raise. Excellent. We're sitting straight down into the squat, not leaning forward at the waistline. Same thing, thumbs up. So it's a little different orientation with the shoulder. Good job. Finding the breath, three, two, keep going, palms face the ceiling, up and up, nice job, four more, four, three, two, and one, rest. Back into our rhythm, quick, quick, slow on our side lunge. So we go quick, quick, hold. Quick, quick, hold. Excellent. Now we reach, punch, punch, hold. Punch, punch, hold. So you're just pressing the weight away from the body, adding a little bit of a rotation. Hold. Reach, reach, hold. Four more. Shoulders working. Three more. Two. One more time. Reach. Reach and hold. Come back to center. Bring your feet closer together, about hips distance apart. Come to parallel position. We're going to sit into a squat as we raise both arms. And down and up. Now on the back side of the exercise, squeeze your shoulder blades and slightly lift your arms behind you. We're going slow, so we're not swinging the weights, but just rotating those shoulder blades back towards each other 
and a slight pause. Inhale, exhale. Sink deep back into the heels. Three more reps. Excellent. Knees are tracking right over that second and third toe. One more, down and up and rest. Both weights go in one hand. Take the feet back out nice and wide. Start to bend the left knee. Then as you bend the right, pull the weight up. So it's down and up. Reach and lift. Just two more slow, then we'll pick up that piece just a little bit. One more time. Reach and lift up to tempo. Down, up, down, up. Now two weights in one hand is a little bit much. Take one out, just use a single. Looking for 10 more here. Nine, eight, feel the core bracing, back of the shoulder, bicep working, upper back, four, three, two, and one. Come back to center, switch the weights into the other hand. We'll take it nice and slow, reach down, pull it up. So I'm not lifting my elbow really up high, just maybe about shoulder height. And I'm adding a little rotation of the core as I reach down and rotating as I come up. Inhale and exhale. Two more slow. Exhale, one more slow. And just a little bit quicker. Down, up, down, up. Now, if you find you're losing your form when you speed up, go back to that slow work. Slow and mindful. Ten, nine, eight, good job, good job. Starting to reach fatigue, maybe in those legs. Four, three, two, and one. Come back to center. And one weight in each hand. Upright row and down. Upright row. Now you'll notice that my elbows are going out to the side. So this is level one. Level two is a lateral raise. My elbows are still going out to the side. But now my arms are long, so your choice is one or the other, or you can mix it up. Now sink down into the legs, hold this here. Pick up the right heel, hold it up. Lift, set it down, pick up the left heel. Up and down, switch, pull it up and down. Now when we're lifting the heel, nothing else is moving through the lower body. So I'm not rocking over to the other foot, just staying really stable in the legs. Three, two more, Woo. one more. Now maybe, maybe we can lift both heels up and down. If not, go back to singles. It's really challenging. Six to go. Whoa. Five. Four more. Even if the heels come up a little bit, you're getting the balance work. Three. Stable core. Two. One more. Up 
and down. Press up out of the legs, roll the shoulders back and down. All right, we set the weights down. Coming back to standing work with an option to have your chair for balance. Pilates first position, toes turned out, heels connected. And if I lift my knees up in position one or lift a knee up, it's going to go out to the side because I still have the same V-shape angle. So we're going to come into devil of hay. So it's knee up, extend the leg, and back down. Now if you can do this without the chair, your arms can be wherever you want. Maybe on your hips, you can hold them out here in front. Ah, balance. So a little pattern I'm going to give you. Devla pay, hold, two lifts. Up, up, bend back in, and down. So it's devla pay, and two lifts. Bring it in and close. Four more. Nice tall spine. Lift, lift, knee in and down. Three more. Extend, lift. Feel that quad really firing. Two more times. Each time we come right back to that first position. Lift, lift. Bring it in, close one more time. Lift, lift, bring it in and relax. We're gonna take a stretch for this quad. So if you can grab your ankle, hold right here, great. If you can't catch it, you can actually use your chair to stretch that quad by bringing your foot back behind you onto the chair and just standing tall and lengthening the back or lengthening the front of that leg. All right, we've got the other side to do. So either facing back the other direction, or I'm going to move my chair to the other side so you can see that front view. We're in first position. Just the devil of hay, so the knee comes out. The leg follows that path. The knee comes in and down. Just the devil of hay. Devil of hay means to open up. Bring it in and down. Now add those two lifts. So double pay out, lift, lift, bring it in and down. Five more. Extend, lift, Woo. lift, and in and down. Now the goal is to get this leg straight. So for you it might be a little bit lower than I'm demonstrating. So just stay in that range that you can do. Lift, lift, bring it in. Two more reps, bend, extend, lift, lift. Oh, why is that lift so hard? Just lifting the body weight and up and up. Bring it in and relax. Take your quad stretch, either holding onto the ankle or placing that same foot behind you on your chair and just hold. Lengthening that muscle back out. One more breath. All right, release it. Send your chair out of your way, grab your hand weights. We're going to do a three directional toe tap. So starting with our right foot, tap it out in front of you, to the side, to the back, and hold. Other side to the front, to the side, to the back, and hold. Now add arms to the front, to the side, to the back. Hold and switch. 
to the front, to the side, to the back. Now option, take a bigger step and lunge to the front, to the side, to the back, and switch legs. Step forward, bend your knee, to the side, bend your knee, back, and switch. Now you can choose, is it a toe point? Do you leave out the arms? Do you add the lunge? Or make it even bigger? To the front, to the side, to the back, and switch two more each direction. To the front, side, back, and switch legs, front. You choose how much you bend that knee. One more each direction. Right foot to the front, to the side, to the back, and switch. Left foot last time to the front, side, back, and together. Okay, coming down on your hands and knees, bring your weights with you. I'm going to set one on each side of my mat. If you need a little padding for your knees, you can have a little cushion there. So we're going to be doing the weight behind the knee again. So if you would rather have your little hand towel to snuggle behind your knee, that's great as well. Okay, so we are hands and knees position. Take the weight or the hand towel bring it behind the back of that right knee. Hug it in, and then slightly lift your knee up off the floor. So we're gonna make our square. We go out, up, in, and down. Out, up, in, and down. Now, if you'd like to add a little bit more core work, you're gonna pick your opposite hand off the floor so you're in spinal balance and out up in down two more this direction with the square now reverse the square so we go straight up open forward and in up out forward in might not look like a perfect square, but try to get four points. Hug that weight behind your knee. Four more. If you're having trouble stabilizing, set the other hand down. Two more. One more. Just lifting up and down. We have eight. Seven, squeeze the glutes, six, pull the belly up towards the spine, four, three, two, and one. Set that foot down, take the weight out from behind the leg. Now to stretch the hamstring, we're going to come up into downward dog. So tuck the toes, lift the hips up, Press down into those heels. Lengthen the back of both legs. Two more breaths. One more breath. And then exhale. Bring it back down. Okay, switching sides, that weight's going behind the back of your left knee. Give it a nice squeeze there, flex your foot. Come into your all fours position. So your shoulders, your hips are level. That left knee's gonna come just an inch up off the floor. Our square, we go out, up, in, down. Out, up, in, down. So we're moving that hip through all the directions, firing the different muscle groups responsible. 
Now your option is to lift the opposite hand up off the floor. Now that you have the work, find your balance in your core. Three more this direction. Two. One more. Reverse the square, lift up first, open, come forward, and close. Up, out, forward, close. Make sure that your pelvis isn't moving, that your back isn't sagging. Three more. Up, out, forward. Two more. One more. Lift straight up and down. Eight reps. One, two, three. Squeeze the glute, squeeze the hamstring. Four. All right, last two. Last one, and bring it down. Release that hand weight. Tuck your toes. Come into your downward facing dog and stretch through the backs of the legs. Woo! Just holding and breathing. Two more breaths. And then drop those knees, rest in child's pose. Take a nice big stretch with the arms reaching out long in front of you, opening up the lats. Okay, last time we're gonna work those hips is in a side lying position. So you can come all the way down on your right side. And let's go to the left side first so we can work our right leg since we did that one first last time. So you can be up here on your elbow lifted, or if you prefer, you can come all the way down and support here, whatever feels best for you. So we're gonna take that hand weight or the towel and hug it behind the back of the knee and then stack the pelvis, keep everything nice and lifted. We're going to make our square lift up, back, down, forward. Up, back, down, forward. Good job. So we've done this three different times, standing on the hands and knees and now side lying. What that does is it puts gravity in a different place, so we work the muscles a little differently. Now let's reverse the square. Back, up, forward, down. Back, up, forward, down. Good job, good job. Five to go. Excellent. Four. Ooh, I'm feeling this. Three, up, down, two more. One more. Now clam shell. So we open this knee, whoop, lost the hand weight. We open the knee, but the toes stay together. And close. Open. And close. So you'll see that my big toes are almost touching the whole time as I'm opening. This is putting that glute through a different range of motion than if I kept my knees or my toes open. Two more. And close. One more. Open. And close. Great job. Okay, so to stretch, let's sit ourselves up cross this top leg over and rotate in that direction. This is you're gonna feel this stretch through that outer thigh, the glute, adding a nice twist into the stretch. 
Nice long spine, looking over the shoulder. Two more breaths. And then coming back to the center line. Let's do the other side. So coming over onto the right side, connecting that weight behind the left knee. Give it a squeeze. So we are at either up here or all the way down supported. Keep the pelvis level, so try not to rock back off of that hip. All right, so starting our square, we'll lift up to begin. Press back, down and forward. Up, back, down. So you'll notice my bottom knee is bent about 90 degrees, and that is my directional locator so that I know I'm coming right back to my start point. Up, back, down. Three more. Good, hit all four corners of your square. One more. Reverse the square, press back first. And up, forward, close in. Back, up, forward. Ooh. By the time we're doing this third set, we should really be feeling this in those muscles, especially if you've used the hand weight for each set. Three more. Back, up, two more. Last one, we have our clamshell coming up and we're gonna slow the movement down. Open and close. My toes are staying towards each other. So I'm not only just lifting the leg into abduction, but I'm rotating the hip. Good. Four more, squeeze that hand weight. Hamstrings nice, nice and active. Three more. Okay, good. Exhale. And one more time. Rotate. And release the hand weight or the hand towel. Press yourself up. This top leg is going to cross. Sit into a twist. Pull that leg in toward you. Look behind. Over your left shoulder. Nice long spine. Then we'll transition to laying down onto your back. Make sure your hand weights are close. And we're gonna go back into that rhythm that we did, the quick, quick, slow rhythm. So with a little bicycling movement, we've got two quick knees and one hold. So it looks like this, pull the knee in, quick, quick, hold. Quick, quick, hold. So this is a nice option if you feel any uh, strain in your lower back. You can do this option. Next option, fingertips are right next to your temple, and we're going to add a rotation. Quick, quick, hold. Quick, Quick, hold. Rotate, rotate, hold. Exhale, exhale, exhale. Four more. Three. Really focus on that hold, drawing the muscles in of the core. Last one and center, relax. Same rhythm with scissors. So right leg is up, left leg is down. Here we go. Quick, quick, hold. Quick, quick, hold. So on the hold, draw that leg in toward you and stretch. Head can stay down. Or your option is to curl, head and shoulders, hold them up. 
scoop your belly. Quick, quick, hold. Five more. Four. Breathe, breathe. Three. Nice long legs. Two more. One more. Hold the right leg up and stretch. Now you can let your head come down or you can walk your hands way up that leg and really pull it in. Five breaths. Good, nice stretch, stretch. All right, relax your head, switch the legs. Left leg is up, head can stay down. Or lift head and shoulders, crawl your hands up as high as you can, pull that leg in toward you. Both legs are nice and straight and active. Four more breaths. Breathe, really lengthen that muscle. Lightly head and shoulders down, set your feet down, grab your hand weights. Bring the arms up about shoulder height. We're going to cross the right ankle over the left thigh and come up to figure four position. So we've got a little bit of a stretch here in the outer thigh and hip. The arms go open, close, open, now as you open the arms, start to lower your heel down towards the floor and then pull it up toward you. So we're moving through the hips. You feel it in your lower back, take out the lowering of the heel. Breathe in, breathe out. Just four more. Inhale and exhale. Three more. Oh, I really feel the core on this one. Two. In one. Now hold that figure four position, but just let your weights relax and hug your knee in further toward you. So really stretch this right glute. That'll give your uh, neck a chance to relax, your shoulders and your abdominals. All right, let's switch the legs, lower down, cross the left ankle over the right thigh, reach for your weights, bring them up and come up to figure four. Let's just start with the chest flies. Inhale, open, and close. And then we add the, the right heel coming down to the floor and up. Whatever range of motion works for you, that heel doesn't need to tap the floor, but if it feels okay, you can come all the way down. That's great. And I'm using my right thigh to push back up to give me that stretch in the hip. Nice active hip stretch. Five more. If your weights are heavy for this chest fly, you can bend your elbows down and come into a chest press. Good. Last one. Hold the figure four, set your weights down, pull those legs in a little closer towards you, taking that stretch. And one more breath. All right, we're gonna 
do egg beater circles for the hips. So knees are stacked, hands are on the top of the knees. We come forward, out, in, and together. So we're making that square again. <clears throat> And try not to let your pelvis move as you do this egg beater circle. The knees come away. Last time this direction. And then reverse. Knees open. They go away from you. Close and come in. Out. Together and in. Really connect with your transverse abdominis, firing through the core, four more this direction, out and in, three, two, last one. And just set your feet down to the floor. Let both knees open and take a little inner thigh stretch here for those adductors. And just relax your arms by your side, palms up. So I'm not going to be using my arms to forcefully press into the floor. Squeeze your glutes and lift your hips about an inch or two off the mat and lift halfway down, lift halfway down. So you can really feel this in the glutes and hamstrings. I'm pressing my knees to open out as I'm lifting up. Lift, lift. 10 more to finish this set, nine. Eight. It's a small range of motion. Last five, four, three, two, and one. Rest those hips down, close the knees together. Set your right heel down onto the floor and pull your toes up. Bring that left leg up. Now you can either bring it to table, you can extend your leg straight, you can stand it up wherever you want to be with this left leg. We're going to push down into that right heel. Small pulses, up, halfway down. Up, halfway down. Now sometimes this can cause you to get a little bit of a cramp in your hamstring. So if that happens, Take a break and stretch it right out. Try not to work through the cramp. Seven to go. Six. Five. Four. Two. And one. Come down and relax. Now just take a little stretch for that leg you just worked. Just a brief one just to lengthen it back out. And then we'll press the left heel into the floor, picking up your toes. The right leg can be wherever you'd like. Lift the hips up, lift halfway down, lift halfway down. So our goal is to keep your pelvis really level. Try not to rotate it side to side. Pressing down to that heel fires the hamstring and the glute. Eight more lifts, one. Tiny range of motion. Last four, three, two, and one. Hips down, and then give yourself a little short stretch for that leg you just worked. Then we're going to go deeper into some hamstring stretches. A seated forward fold. So bring yourself up to sit. And this is going to be a dynamic stretch. So legs are out in front of you. You can point your toes for Pilates. You can flex your heels for more of a yoga. Stretch, we'll inhale, stretch the arms up. And then exhale, lengthen forward. 
Breathe in. In yoga, this is Paschimottanasana, so it's a dynamic stretch into that forward fold. Inhale, coming up. Exhale, down. Now we inhale up, and then the right hand reaches slightly across into that forward fold. The left arm can stay up a little. Inhale. Left hand reaches slightly across. Two more each side. Breathe in and breathe out. Breathe in and breathe out. One more each side. And then take one more right to the middle and hold. And then inhale, come all the way back up. Exhale down, come to a comfortable cross leg pose. Nice long spine, reach up. Side stretch over to the right, open up through the left side ribs. Slightly rotate, reaching across to the diagonal. Then bring the hands right through the middle, take a stretch for your low back. And walk in, inhale, open. Exhale, side stretch. Rotate on the diagonal. And walk those hands down through the middle, stretching for the low back. And come back up. Reach the hands behind you. You can either clasp your hands or just reach back. Come into a nice chest expansion. Open up through the heart. Two more breaths. And then we'll finish with one last inhale, reaching up together. Press the palms. Draw the thumbs to the heart center. Thank you so much for joining me for our Pilates Bar Yoga Workout Mind Body Blend. I'll see you next time, everyone. If you can stay in chat for a couple minutes, that would be super. I'll see you next time.